Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> we're here with Jamie Wyatt, and we're here to talk about what it's like to be going through Christmas sober, abstinent, clean, whatever you want to call it, and what it's like not to. Yeah. Jamie, talk about it. Talk about it? Okay. Thanks, Laura. I think that's a, a really important topic. In fact, I, you know, looking back in my early days, I thought that, um, you know, I dreaded the holidays. I dreaded any sort of celebration because it's like, how do you celebrate anymore? Right. How am I ever going to have fun anymore? Um, but when I really look back at my, my fun, this is where reflection comes in handy is when I really look back at my fun, I go, what I thought was fun was, you know, just awful. It was, for me, it was, a, it was a demoral, demoralizing, in fact. But, you know, I can remember plenty of holiday on multiple substances around a, a, a dinner table with my family. And, and that, it wasn't cool because there's family members that aren't here anymore. So when I think about, how I want to spend my holidays. And if it is around family or if it's around my chosen family, you know, regardless of where I'm at, you know, taking in every moment because this is such a, a you know, sobriety for me has made me realize just how temporary or how short life is. And that those little mo moments are memories and, and really important there to be savored. Um, you know, I really appreciate, and I really put, find things that I appreciate about people now, you know? Um, what do you mean? What do you mean? I mean, if there's somebody that, that like we have a friend that had us over for a holiday recently and I'm like, that person makes me feel like so much more hopeful about humanity because their kindness mm. is, is just amazing. Some people have just incredibly warm, and vibrant energy, right? Yeah. I, I could never feel that when I was high. I couldn't really feel that. You yeah. know, I couldn't feel the bad feelings I was running from, but in turn, I couldn't feel the warmth of someone's generous love. spirit. You can't. Yeah. Feel. Yeah. So, uh, you know, when it comes to celebrating with others, I remind myself as a sober person is I get to feel everything that is good too, you know, you know, sometimes it's like in order to appreciate that stuff, it's just being a little bit quiet and, and, uh, and being there present and, and curious, right? Oh, that's a good, that's yeah. Being curious, looking instead of feelings mm. as like something that could kill you. Cause that's how it felt. Like if I have to sit through this, I will die. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I felt that same way. And it's it's funny, it's like it's not always as bad as my my mind makes it up to be almost every time. And most things I fear never really come true. As long as I don't get loaded, I can mostly handle a lot of things. Yeah. Which is really crazy to think about, right? I've never ever thought that I could handle what was coming my way. Well, it's the anxiety that I think is really um, uh, overwhelming. And I, I heard someone saying that every bad thing that happened to you, because, you know, we, it's so easy to use over our anger, fear, resentment, and resentment yeah. is, is a big one. And um, of course, fear and anger, <laughs> but yeah. come down to fear. Um, but resentment, it's like, every single thing that's ever happened is already happened. It's, it's done. It's already like just getting that. Oh, it's a, it's already done. So what I can be responsible for or change is how I react to it now, like in the now. It's like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and usually, you know, 
usually my resentments are, are self punishment is what I found out. It took, honestly, that took years to realize it's like, yeah, in theory, they told me it was self punishment, but it took years for me to go, oh yeah. Cause like I'm allowed to enjoy stuff even when I'm not supposed to enjoy it. I I'm allowed to show up at a dinner party and feel like I don't need to be compared to anyone. I don't, I don't care if they're comparing me to anyone. Right. Um, something I always thought about at my family dinner tables or gatherings was like, all right, I'm like the poor one. I'm the artist that is struggling, <laughs> right? They're all going to like lavish me with pity, which I hated, right? I didn't want that, but it was inevitable. But like, they may have not changed, but I have changed. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I go places now with armed with more um, dignity, <laughs> number one, <laughs> like a little bit more uh, armed with a little bit of like levity, just a little bit mm -hmm. of lightness around whether, you know, I, I find humans amusing. I think that our nature, right? We're not that different from dogs, in my opinion the way we size each other up, the way we, you know, compare our lives and our, our uh, trophies and whatever. And that's funny to me. Yeah. 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 And, and it's, you know? it's catching the need. Like when I notice when I'm not feeling enough and I need to peacock a little bit, like, don't yeah. you know who I think I am kind of stuff. And Sure. And and watching that and being aware of that, like what's going on. I mean, I, I have such a vivid memory of first being in San Francisco and it being Christmas and um, like just paying attention to when Walgreens closed. I was house sitting for someone and uh, I uh, I just needed to get to Walgreens and I was excited because I think maybe their Christmas stuff was going to be on sale. And, and it took me a while to get to that part of like knowing that if they put poison on sale, would I buy it? Right. And, and that, that feeling that if I didn't do it, go to Walgreens and buy like a bunch of things to sit and eat alone, I was going to die. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm grateful that, um, yeah, I don't have to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. That's like, I mean, the crux of all addiction to me is just seeking, you know, what I've come to understand. So anytime I seek something outside of myself to feel happy or to feel something, to get a hit of dopamine, whatever that is, you know, and it's, those are the times when I'm, I'm not able to be in the present moment. And I just really appreciate sometimes just uh, being in the here and now. Yeah. 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 It, it's whatever the next indicated thing is that um, whatever the next indicated thing you need to do to get through this moment and um, knowing that it, it'll, it'll pass. And yeah, um, because I know there are some people or who are newly uh, sober, clean, abstinent, again, however, yeah. whatever you call it. And um, it's, uh, it's just, it's, I do believe that fake it till you make it kind of thing, really. Absolutely. Yeah. L like last night, I just, um, I, I'll, I have a frozen uh, item in my freezer that's, it's not ice cream or anything, not that that, but it's a, I'll, anyway, I don't want to trigger someone by saying, <laughs> but I, I, I was just like, I'll have that tomorrow. And then I woke and it was just like, fine, you can, I'm holding it for someone. And it's like, um, I'm not doing it like last night. I mean, it wouldn't be the end of the world if I did. I'm just, I just want to get really specific about, but it's the idea of like saying, I don't have to do this right now. And that has gotten a lot of people through the end of the day, you know? Bingo. That's, that's absolutely been my truth for a long time. When, when, when there's struggle, especially it's like, you know, it can be one day at a time. It can be one minute at a time, or it's just some reminding yourself, like, I, I don't have to do that even if I want to. 
Have you had that where you felt like I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna use I'm gonna use, but I'll, I'll do it tomorrow or I'll have you? Yes. Had- yeah, that was literally a you know, I'd say a couple years back, at least a couple, maybe a few years ago, where it was, you know, I I did I would just put it off. I'd be like, yeah, I was kind of ambivalent about it, right? Like I was like, I'm doing this thing, I'm getting sober. I know I don't want to be back out there, but I'm really struggling being right here. That feels terrible too. So, and you know, so the desire to, to drink comes up and it's like, yeah, I could, but I'm just going to, yeah, put it off. I'm going to do my laundry instead. Right. Mm -hmm. I like doing laundry now as a result, I think, (laughs) which is weird, but. It's actually a privilege to be able to like, it is not be face first and whatever, you know? And and I think it's important to get into that when you're newly uh, clean is like the, that your one goal, like for me, it's like, oh, all these other different um, indicators of what makes it a successful day. And then to know yeah. that I'm a hardcore addict. And if I made it today, not being face first in the food, that uh, not destroying myself, not um, having to use, that is a success. Yes, that's a success. Because we are hardcore, you know, low bottom motherfuckers. Yes, that's <laughs> correct. That is my truth. I Can really- you sing us a, 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 I didn't mean to. Yeah. Uh, sing us a goodbye uh, little. Um, a goodbye, like I can do an original song. That would be great. We got five minutes left on the clock. Okay. Let's see how in tune this is. Eh, it don't matter, right? Maybe I'm a pain for a lifetime of sin. For the depths of the flesh and the arms of a man Well, it takes two parties and parties they ask for friends Of which all roads they close to an end So I bled my horses and lay down with Pharaoh and I hitched out west to the hills of the sun. Mercy, I need mercy. Mercy, right now. Mercy. Don't try to hurt me Honey, I'm certain there's a big white house without me We can drink champagne on a cloud full of grace but it ain't for creatures to sell themselves for comfort Cause I stole that horse just to hide in the hay Now I tip my head and I thank you for the sadness And I lay my head on a bed full of stars Mercy, I need mercy. Mercy, right now. Mercy, don't try to hurt me. Woohoo!
need mercy Mercy Right now Mercy Don't try to hurt me Goodness. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And all of you out there. Yeah, mad love to anyone in, in sobriety right now. You got this. Next indicated thing. That's right. <laughs>